What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Garrett. I'm a seven figure Amazon seller showing you how you can make a living off of Amazon as well. In today's video, we put 10 minutes on the timer with the objective being uncover as much profit inside profitable products to sell on Amazon as we could. We ended up finding about $700 in potential profit. So stick around for the video and I'll show you exactly how I went finding that. Okay, guys, we have 10 minutes officially on the clock with the goal being to find as much profit, as many products as we physically can in this 10 minute time frame. Um, so we're going to start here on Rakuten in the, um, the hot deals section just to see if there's any big discounts or, or codes that we can leverage to kind of get us going here. It looks like Nike has a 40% off one, so we'll start there. Everyone loves Nike. Nike is a reputable brand. It sells well on Amazon. So this is where we'll start. Um, we'll focus on the shoes to get going here. And really, we're just looking for an entry product, as I call it, right? A product that's going to open us up to different educated smart sellers that are also kind of doing the same sorts of things. So if we find our first profitable product, that will really set the stage for the rest of the 10 minutes here. I'm just kind of scanning through, see if any of the shoes stand out. Nike Air Monarchs are 26% off, so we'll start here. Looks like they have all three sizes and colors. Extra wide and regular. Um, so we'll use Sellamp to help us out identify a match on Amazon. Um, uh, looks like the data is not really pulling properly. All those are super high ranked. So we'll go Nike Air Monarch. There should be a faster moving listing than what we're seeing there. 59,000, 21,000. This might be it. 900 no I think there's still a faster one thought there was one that was less than 10,000 I know we're wasting some of our time here what we can do and I'm not gonna spend too too much more time on this specific one We'll do sales rank of maximum of 10,000. I think that's 10,000. And we'll do a product text field monarch. There should be one that comes up. No. Go back here. Type in brand Nike. Anything that comes up? This is what I'm looking for. Perfect. Mm, I want to pull up the thing. Pull up the listing. So really what we're going to find and trying to identify a specific variation that works. So we could do it a couple different ways. What we're going to start with, being that we're on a time crunch here, is we're just going to sort highest buy box to lowest and, and just try and find a rating, a, a size that's gaining a lot of velocity, a lot of ratings. Um, and we'll go, we'll, I'll do a different video di doing a deep dive into kind of variation analysis. But it looks like this size 15 is priced at a 115, getting a good amount of reviews or ratings. So we'll start here. 15 extra wide at 114. What's our price point? Do we even have it in stock? 15 extra wide, 115, priced at 54. So $34 profit per unit, that's certainly going to work for us. This velocity, uh, this variation is, is moving pretty well. Um, if we just use the 1% as a baseline, which is how many ratings are going to this specific variation, we can start with the 4,700 and multiply it by 0 0.01, so about 50-ish sales. So 50 sales potentially going to this size and color. What's our competition looking like? Seven offers. Um, we can come in with like a 115 offer, beat this guy, so maybe six competitive offers. Um, so we'll be able to claim about, you know, five five to ten sales per month as long as things remain steady in this market. So $30 profit times, call it five, we just made $150 with this specific variation. But we can do a little further deep dive to find any other, and we have four minutes on the clock, any more profitable variations looks like the nine and a half extra wide is going for 98 
it was in the, out of stock for a while. Came in stock ninety eight, ninety nine. So we can get this one for nine and a half. I just want actually want to double check, make sure this specific variation is moving. And uh, not super much. We'll sort on ratings instead. And so as we are going in, uh, top to bottom in ratings, we're really just going to look for a high buy cost, a buy box. We're, our price point is probably going to be around 90-ish. 90 plus is where we're probably going to have to come in with a price. So 10 and a half black, that might work. I don't know if we have that in stock. We have a 10 in stock. That's not going to work. I'm getting lost in my tabs here. Um, 60, 60, 98, 13. I don't think we had the 13 black. We do not. 64, 50. So we may only have that one variation. 81, 88, nine and a half. Do we have nine and a half? We do not. we don't have we have the 15 eight and a half do we have eight and a half uh, again we do not Let's see if we can find one more here I, I did realize some of the buy boxes were suppressed so what if we do this again so we have the 15 again fact checking with the ratings tab oh here we go size seven this might work for us. Do we have the size seven in the white? We do, perfect. So trending is at around 80. Our price point now is at 108, which won't last. But if we sell it at 80, our price, our buy cost is 55. Make only making $4, yeah, so our price point here is around 90, 85 probably. We need to be selling at about 85, oops. Yeah, but we'll move on. Uh, so we'll go back to this first listing that we found and dig in, uh, dive deeper from there. Go back. I don't think I have the tab still open. So this was a, a profitable one. This will make us about $115, $150 in this first month if we buy five or six. But now we want to do an evaluation on the other sellers that are around our price point selling this same product to see what else we can find. So it looks like CM Products LLC is also carrying this priced, again, where we would like to be priced. Um, and so we're just going to kind of do some reverse engineering from what do they have in stock. We'll still continue with the Nike f trend um, and do some more digging here. Whoops. Oh, so we may have a second one. This is priced, if we look here in the blue, or the, the orange line, around 100 We might have actually found a second one, women's, if we click in here. Uh, what size is it? This particular one, I don't even know what size it does it say. Oh, I think it was a nine. Yeah, so this one's a nine, priced at around a hundred. Do we have the nine? We do not, but we have an eight and a half. Oh no, we don't have an eight and a half. We have a six and a half. How does a six and a half look? And so you notice how we kind of go back and forth. We don't have the six and a half here. Um, between like the supply and what's on Amazon. So we have the six available to us. Oh, six a win. Six is good for us. And make sure this is the right keeper graph. We'll refresh. We are at nine minutes. And this is another one. Um, so we could price at 100. Our buy cost is $70. I think Dix has a 10% off code we could use here. Yep. Um, so 70 brings it down to 63. And that is just spot on here. $14 on a $100 sale. Let's see what variation of velocity is going to the size six here. Oh, wow, 13%. So 13% of uh, 3,000 is, I think, I don't know. Um, about 400, 400 sales. So this is something we can go pretty deep on. 
20 offers, um, we'll call it 10 competitive. Um, so maybe if we could probably sell th around 30 of these a, ton um, a month. So we just made 30 times 14, about 400, so we're up to about 500, $600. We're almost at our time limit, so we made six hundred dollars. We'll see if we can end it out here um, with another win. And so, it, obviously, with more time, we would just keep clicking down. Doesn't look like there's a match there. Finding more and more, and just again doing that reverse analysis where we can find the profit inside these products it looks like we might have just finished with one more to end our session here we're going a little bit over time so forgive me for that this was a size i don't know what size this was we'll just go straight to variations actually six or something six and a half where's our source here finish line shop less s So it looks like we have all of our sizes here, 84, 10% off. So our buy cost is around 76. What's our price point would need to be? So if I, we're at 115, 76 just gets us to 11, 12%. That should probably work. Um, we just need to find one of the variations that are actually selling for 115, which there should be. We'll go this way. 110. Bang. Five and a half. This is our winner right here. Five and a half. Perfect. So our buy cost is, I think, 76. 85 minus 10%. Somewhere in around like 76. Looks like we could keep selling this for around 120. Between one, probably 120 and 130 would be our trending. But if we split that in half, 120. Oops. Buy cost is about 76. That'll work for us. Um, just about 13, 14% margin. Again, how much, how many sales are going to this specific variation? Looks like about 10% of sales. 10% of 1,300 is 130. Competitive offer, 17. So maybe about, you know, five, six, seven, eight, somewhere in that range of sales. So if we say five sales per month at $18 profit, that is about another about a um, hundred about a hundred. So we just made about seven hundred fifty ish dollars. Again, we can keep going. We can do more digging into the competitive sellers. Do more digging into the products within those competitive sellers to keep finding more profit. But in the past ten minutes, I guess call it twelve minutes, we've uncovered about um, 700, seven hundred seven seven eight hundred dollars of profit in just these ten minutes. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. This is essentially how the process of sourcing works. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to like the video, share it to a friend, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We will see you in the next one.